Hey, Curious Dude here with a quick Van Gogh update. Van Gogh's home from the body shop, so let's take a look at what happened and what's left to do. All right, if you watched the last video, you'd know that Van Gogh was off to the body shop for some work. Lucky to have a very, very dedicated metal worker and painter in town, and he agreed to do some work for me. So uh, the first thing we did was down here, uh, this area, there was a rotted edge on the quarter panel and uh, this had rocker guard on it already or gravel guard so uh, he replaced all that metal which is amazing so there's zero rust in there and then we threw some paint on and on the front half here the front half of the quarter panel we also had the same issue on the bottom uh, it was all rotted out because of that leaky window seal so that's all new metal um, got a straight you know there's no blending there i can live with that because uh, number one the uh, the rotten metal has gone and that is uh just, you know, a huge thing when you're trying to save an old bus. We had a spot on the corner here uh, that was also done, metal cut in there. And uh, nothing over here. This lip's in great shape, all good. And then around the front wheel well, uh, this, he painted that entire area. Just a small repair that had to be done right in there, just a tiny bit. So, um, yeah, so pretty wonderful to have all that done now and uh, ready for... Uh, ready for what's next. So what else have I done? Uh, polished the paint. I didn't, uh, pardon me, I didn't polish. That's just Carnuba wax. So I used it on a dual action and, you know, kind of polished it in, but it's pretty shiny. I think it looks really good. Um, I also set the valve lash, um, which is pretty amazing. Actually, when you think about this, you know, I've probably put a thousand, maybe a thousand K on it. I've done that much or not, but uh, the valves were they're all perfect. One was a slight bit loose, but otherwise uh, no issues. So yeah, running great. And uh, that's a relief too. Um, what else did I do? Let's take a look inside. Now, I don't know if you'll really notice this, but um, you see that pretty good shine coming off the cupboards right now. So I use the Aerospace 303 protectant. Um, something my brother who's really into fine detail work with vehicles uses all the time so i actually you know get a light coat on all that and same with all the dash it's not too shiny but it gives it a real nice uh, protection i use it on the wheels too actually if uh, you may not show but i mean the wheels uh, the tires are new but you know they the tires have a nice really uh, organic rubber look not too shiny of a finish on it either so it works really uh, really really good um what else um, one thing I didn't get to uh, is this door panel. I've been contemplating, you know, I've seen videos where people take door panels off because they're made of like a press board and they actually soak them and they can get them to flatten down and, and lie straight. Now, I'm a little nervous with this one because it has quite a few nicks and cuts in it that, you know, I'm probably just going to leave that be. It bothers me a bit, but I think, uh, you know, probably would the best thing would be just to replace with new door panels that don't have the speaker holes cut in them anyway. So, so that's kind of a little sample of there. Um, but here's something I do want to share with you all. Uh, this is the, the big board, the bus big board. And so I've had that there for several years. And if you start looking down, you'll notice, wow, in the last year or so, I've got a lot done. In fact, there's nothing on the list right now. It's complete. All of those bus tasks are now done. And uh, so what's next for Van Gogh? Yeah, so what'll be next for Van Gogh is there's a major car show in downtown in our community, about 500 cars actually in that show. It's a massive one. So that's in a couple of weeks time. So really excited to have Van Gogh down there and be showcased. But the big thing that's new um, is actually Van Gogh is going to be up for sale. Uh, I have loved this bus. I've loved, you know, the process of saving it, of rescuing it, of finding all of the incredible history. Uh, I feel really blessed to have had an opportunity to own Van Gogh and, you know, really to bring it back. Um, it's just a you know, beautiful experience. However, I, you know, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to save another pro uh, another project, to save another Volkswagen. And so, um, yeah, so you can watch for a little bit about... Uh, the sale process and what's going to happen there. Um, I'll probably do a video as well on valuing the, uh, a bus, a bay window bus. Um, they're, you know, this one's kind of unique being original and low mileage and having all the history. So I think it's 
you know, more on the valuable end, uh, even though it's not perfectly restored, but um, we'll see. Uh, I'm only gonna sell it if, it if I can find the right home for Van Gogh because this is not a bus that should be, uh, well, my opinion needs to stay the way it is. So, uh, and hopefully the new owner or, or prospective new owner will, will feel the same way. So yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've found here, please subscribe. There'll be a few more uh, great Van Gogh videos coming up in the weeks ahead. So have a great day. Bye now.